Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, uh, we are now in the 2023 playlist. I am continuing my episode numbers from the previous episodes that's in the playlist of uh, Premiere Pro 2022. This is now Premiere Pro 2023, which is the latest update. If you click on Premiere Pro, go to About Premiere Pro, it shows you what version we're on. We're now working out of 2023 here. So, But enough said there, let's get started. In this episode, I'm going to be going through ripple and roll editing, which is a very, very common uh, feature that is used in a lot of professional editing software. And this one, we're going to be showing it in Premiere Pro here. Uh, but the ripple and roll edit, uh, very common in, uh, in DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, a very common feature that's used by professional editors. Uh, those tools are found down here, right here on the toolbar. Uh, right there, this is the ripple edit tool. And if you got this little teeny arrow in the corner, you click on that, it will drop it down. Just hold your mouse down on it, and you've also got access to the rolling edit tool. So the ripple edit and the rolling edit or roll edit tool uh, right here in your in your toolbar. I really never use that because you have access, you have quick access to it just by having it on your regular selection tool. Just by using the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC will turn it into uh, that will turn it into the ripple or the roll edit tool and we'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to perform an edit really, really quick. So I want to show you what the difference is between these and then show you why you would want to use them. I'm going to select that clip, delete it. We're going to create an edit here. Uh, this is out of fight scene that we shot on 16 millimeter uh, a few years back. But I'm going to use this tool for some matching and then retiming on the edit. So, so what we've got is we've got this shot of this guy walking into his apartment. He's got his groceries and he's going to sit down at his groceries. I'm just going to start this little short here. And then the camera pans over and we have this person standing up, an assassin with a gun going to assassinate him. I'm going to get this to where I want, where approximately where I want the shot to cut. So she lifts up the gun here, I'm rewinding, playing forward. And she lifts up the gun, stop. O for out point, I've said an I for out end point and an O for an out point and I hit period and it drops it down to the timeline. So now we have in the timeline, I've got this shot. I'm gonna to go to the end of this here and I'm gonna to go to the next shot, which is this over the shoulder uh, shot with her lifting the gun in, in, into the frame here. So I'm gonna forward into this, find it where she lifts the gun. She lifts the gun right there. I wanna pre-roll this a little bit and have it uh, down a little bit lower right there uh, so, it, so it lifts into frame. Let's start there, end point, press play. And he notices that here's the click noise. Uh, so I'm going to do O for out point. So I'm going to do O for out point and period to drop that into the timeline. So I've got this shot here. And this is kind of an intentional repeat, but we're going to use this to match. I, this is called an assembly edit. Usually with assembly editing, I do this assembly edit layout and I just get the footage down in the timeline in the order that I need it in. And I'm not really worried terribly about matching quite yet. But right now I play through this and she lifts up the gun. And then she basically lifts up the gun a second time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ripple tool to, to do a match at it. Because right here, this doesn't match. She lifts and lifts again. So what the ripple tool does, first of all, is it basically does this. It basically will change a clip's in point or out point without changing the adjacent clip's in point or out point. So like right here, if I want to extend or shrink this in point right here, what I can do is with my trim tool, my regular selection tool, is you can grab this edge here and you can shrink it down to where we can try to get that to match where she's already got the, the gun lifted up in the air. But then you got this gap here. You can select this gap. You can right click in it and say ripple delete. It will ripple delete that gap and pull this in point over here. So I never change this clip's out point right here, but I change this clip's in point. And then, I comp then we had to compensate by filling that gap there. You can do it also the other direction. If you want to extend that shot, same thing, you can drag this out, grab your end point and drag it over. It shows you where your new end point is, like right there. And then I can select this and delete it. And now we have that extended end point right there. Or same over here, I can pull this out, grab this clip's out point, extend that, and then right click in here and ripple delete and fill the gap. That is basically a ripple edit, but it does it all in one move. And if I grab the edge here, this is just that little red icon there that is just a trim right there. It just trims this clip's in point or out point, uh, but doesn't fill the gap or compensate by pushing everything else down. If you have some other footage down the timeline, let's show you that here. I'm just gonna put some random footage in here, out point. Drop that in my timeline right there. If I choose my ripple edit tool here, or like I said, I don't. Uh, I can either do this, and now this uh, this this arrow has turned yellow. Now that's my ripple tool right there. So that's rippling to this side right here, and this is rippling to this clip right there. So it's uh, so whatever way it's uh, direction is pointing. This is this clip's in point. This is this clip's out point. Now watch what happens if I extend uh, my clip's out point here. Grab this and drag it it will push everything else down and it ripples everything down the timeline. If I shrink this out point like this, drag it, it's going to suck everything up to this point right here. It will grab everything and pull it down to compensate for that distance. But still, it has not affected this clip's end point. 
So what I can do here is if I'm on my regular selection tool, I can get short I can shortcut this by holding down Command on a Mac or or Control on a PC. Watch what happens right now. This is red. I hold down Command. It changes that to a ripple edit. If I move over here, a ripple edit. And now if I want to shrink this, I can just grab this, drag it to the right, and look at this. It brings up two frames up at the top. It's showing me where my ending frame to the left is. It's still in the same out point. It's not moving it. But uh, they don't, now I see where my new end point is. I can use this for a visual match here and get the gun up in the air, let go. It compensates by pulling everything down. So that's very convenient. You also have access to the roll tool, which I'm going to show in a minute. But a roll tool right here, if you move your mouse over the middle, on right on the edit, and hold down Command or Control on a PC, it will bring up the roll edit. And we're going to show you what that will do as well. So like I said, no need in selecting anything out of the, the toolbar. That's kind of a redundant visual thing there that you really don't need. But I'm going to undo this, get it back to where it was before. All right, so let's do a match here. Uh, and the way I would rather do this is through my trim window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to arrow up and down the timeline until I land on the edit that I want to edit. I want to edit this one right here. I'm going to hit Shift T to bring up my trim window. And the trim window, I'm going to move over this and I'm going to hit tilde to make it full screen just so you can see what's happening a little better. The tilde key is above the tab key and it makes that window that I'm where my mouth where my mouse is hovering, it makes that window go full screen. If you hit tilde again, it goes back to this. So tilde, and now look what we've got. We've got access to this clip's endpoint, that's the ripple edit, the roll edit for both the, for both the endpoint and outpoint, which we'll get to, and then the ripple edit over here to the left uh, uh, for this clip's outpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a matching point. I'm going to ripple edit this one and now then then this one, get it to get a matching point. Let me just get it maybe a couple frames before her gun comes to a stop here. So let's get to this ripple edit, grab this, I'm going to drag it to the left and get the um, right there is where she settles, right there is where she settles and maybe Go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven frames before that, right before it finishes and settles. So I, now I'm going to get this one to that matching point. So the ripple edit is great for matching. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag to the right and get it right, right there's where she settles. So maybe like seven frames before, five, six, seven, there we go, right there. And now let's see if that looks like a match. Now I'm going to tilde, get out of this. I'm going to uh, pre-roll this, bring it back, and let's play through it. Brings her gun up, and that looks like it matches. So now let's get into roll editing. So I use the ripple tool to, to, mat, to match that edit there. I'm going to arrow up and land on this. I'm going to hit Shift T again to bring up my trim window, move over this, my mouse over this window, and hit tilde to bring it up. And let's do a roll edit. What the roll edit does is it basically, well, let's go down here and show you. It basically does this. If you want uh, to change, well, now that we've got this matched, if you want to change where the edit happens, I can grab this, just my trim, and I can trim this uh, clip's in point. It has a gap there, but I'm going to grab this clip's out point and change uh, the out point as well. So that is a that is a roll edit there. The roll edit basically cha uh, changes both in and out points simultaneously, where the ripple edit only changes one clip's in point or out point, while leaving the adjacent clips alone. This changes both and compensating by adding out points, or if we go the opposite direction here, if I hold down Command and grab it this direction, now look at this, this is giving me my, my full roll edit. And you see that moving up there in sync in those two windows. Let's kind of demonstrate that with the... Uh, trim window here. So I'm going to arrow up, land on the edit, shift T, tilde over this window here, and move it right in the middle, and then that's my roll edit. So the roll edit, now look what this does. Now it looks like it's just got everything in sync. Look at her arm lifting up, and it's in sync together with both shots. Now I can decide where I want my edit to happen. So maybe I want this to happen maybe a little bit before so we see that gun lift up into uh, the frame, but I'm going to get, see, I look on the left one. I want the left one where it starts to reveal on the couch right there, and then I want it to finish here. So that looks pretty good. Let's take, let's play through it and see what this looks like. She lifts it up, and it looks like uh, it needs a little bit more frames on here. She might maybe did it on a on a little bit different speed. So what I can do is go back. I'm going to do a ripple edit, Shift T, tilde. I'm going to grab this one and just bring it down a couple frames so we, we get that little little bit more pre-roll because she probably did it at a slightly different speed. So let's, it matched pretty good, but the timing is a little different. So let's grab this one and drag that gun down just a couple more frames right there. And now we fine-tuned it. Let's take a look at it, see how it looks. And I like that. That looks like a really good match with the timing. So very, the continuity feels right to me. Anyway, so that is what the ripple and roll edit is used for. Uh, once again, ripple edit changes one clip's in point or out point without affecting the adjacent clip, and then it ripple deletes or ripple shoves everything down the timeline. And then the roll edit changes uh, two clips 
will change the in and out point of an edit simultaneously, extending one clip's out point if you're shrinking the end point or vice versa. So hopefully that helps you in editing and I, I'd practice at that and get used to the tool because it's a very commonly used tool in the profession. So if you have any questions, let me know.